Japan's Nintendo is hoping to energize sales after weak demand for its Nintendo 64 and Game Boy players hurt earnings this past fiscal year. CNN's Mark Salzman reports on an impending launch of a new handheld console that could be the spark Nintendo needs. Parents, get ready. The Game Boy Advance is on the way. The first major successor to the current Game Boy hasn't hit stores yet, but we got our hands on a few and gave them to some kids for a test drive. So what makes this new portable player special? For one, it features a 32-bit processor, which is four times more powerful than the current Game Boy. This means it's considerably faster, with richer graphics and better quality sound. I think the coolest thing would probably be the graphics and the way that it's so easy to hold. You can see it better. The new LCD screen is exactly 50% wider than the older Game Boy. And to accommodate this larger display, the Advance is held horizontally instead of vertically. A good move by Nintendo? It's more comfortable than the other one. A couple of parent-pleasing facts. Batteries last 50% longer in this new Game Boy. And it's backwards compatible. What that means is it'll play all existing Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. All 1,200 of them. The Game Boy Advance is also future compatible. So, in a year from now, when the GameCube is released, Nintendo's upcoming home console system, you'll be able to connect the Game Boy Advance to the GameCube in order to swap information and add extra controls to the game. Also, there's cell phone support in the works. So next year, gamers are going to be able to surf online using their Game Boy Advance. That sounds really awesome. Despite what you see here, Game Boys are not just for kids. Nintendo says 45% of all Game Boy players are over the age of 17. Not that hard to believe if you consider this. Gamers who grew up playing Mario and Donkey Kong are now in their late 20s or early 30s. So the big question remains... Where do you put these in stores that we can buy them? It'll hit stores in the U.S. June 11th and will cost about 100 bucks, with new games hovering around the $30 to $40 mark. Nintendo says it expects to sell one and a half million units in the U.S. its first week. Worldwide, Nintendo hopes to move close to 25 million Game Boy Advances over the next year. I'll get it for a... for Christmas. Think Nintendo is overly ambitious? Don't forget, it was Nintendo that made Pokemon a household name. Mark Saltzman for CNN. Still ahead in Biz Asia, the outlook for the shortened trading week in the U.S. and what investors there will focus on.